Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ovro and today we will build a full stack app using AI. We won't write a single line of code, but rather the AI will write the entire code for us. Both the backend, which is written in Python by the agent. Also the frontend, which is written in React. In last video also I have shown how we could do it. But in today's video, I would like to emphasize a bit more on the backend part, just to make sure that, you know, we know the capabilities which Data Button Agent has while building the backend and how smooth it is and how robust fast API router, which is in Python, can be built in Data Button. So what I would do is I would quickly start with one of the app, which I am uh, thinking of building for quite a long time now. It's called AI Stock Analyst, where the idea is that you fetch data using Alpha Vantage API, build a dashboard with it and then allow the AI to answer any relevant queries. It's mainly targeting for the investors and it has all these guidelines like light and dark mode toggle, input box, dashboard based on the historical data and AI generated analysis when asked. So I'll click this uh, generate the starting point. This is nothing but this mainly takes all this information which I provided before and creates this UI uh, mostly giving us a solid start to go further. So as you can see, data button agent is writing some new code in a page called home. We will see that it is now fixing the code which it has written. Maybe it found some error checking the new code before finalizing it. And soon we will see it will save and we will see the home page. It, the initial one takes a bit more time since it's trying to create the workspace as well. How to suggest us next because it plans us. And now we see there is a home page we see that there is something uh, let's see let's see yes we have something now already oh yeah we have a uh, uh, dark and light mode toggle we have ai stock analyst as the heading we have stock search the, there's a dashboard placeholder we have AI analysis to analyze we have a lot of things we see a few errors but it's okay it's not so uh, important errors it's more like warnings out here and we have a welcome message from data button itself so let's see the code, how many lines of code it wrote with our very first initial input. You see, it's all written in React, 155 lines of code written with the initial input and we already have a solid start, right? So the next part is build the stock data API. I want to create, and if I just hover here, this is a smart suggestion which we recently integrated in data button to allow our users to quickly write prompt. So it says that there are like four options and one of them is uh, build stock data API. And if I hover here, I see that I want to create an API to fetch stock data from the alpha vintage API, which will be used in my app. Great. I just go for this particular, I click that one. And now it sends that prompt to the agent. Agent says, certainly let's create an API to fetch stock data from alpha vintage API. We'll create a new backend here. Now we see there's no backend alpha vintage api key i click the next one and it's uh, it will provide me with a placeholder yeah this is a placeholder for alpha vintage api key from this particular uh, url you just go there get free api key and that's all you need add it the api key here i hit the send button and now data button will store this particular api key back in this secret environment space, which data button workspace already has. So data button is enabled with a lot of uh, Python SDK, its own SDK to handle all this stuff. I will show you that as well, but let's start the, or initiate the next process. Great, you, your alpha vintage API key has been securely stored. Now that we have the API key set up, we can proceed with creating the API endpoint to fetch stock data. Would you like to create an API, end, API endpoint now? And I just click create a stock endpoint. It starts creating the API files, thinking, doing all the stuff. Meanwhile, I'll quickly show you if I go to the config place, this is where the API key is stored. You can add your own as well. We'll add the open API key. And as you see, data button already started creating the backend here. If I go here, there's no endpoints found now. So you see only a few lines of code here and data button is writing the new code here, editing source code, creating new code for stock data. This is the endpoint. This is the backend which will be created now by our data button agent. It's written in Python and the end goal is to create a API router which will be connected to our frontend. So now we already have this entire endpoint written for us. If I closely look into this, you see data button using its own SDK called as uh, db.secrets. It imported as data button as db. 
db.secrets.get alpha vantage api key this is the name by which it was stored in the config page it has uh, all the pyantic way of writing it and then finally it comes out with this entire uh return the stock data response this entire uh, json response which it comes up with so next part would be can we uh, test this backend and i press hash here and you see all the components all the files while building this app comes up and i hit stock data and now we ask the agent to test this endpoint this is very important because normally when you're writing any fast api you have to test it locally or you just use something as swagger and then test it in data button the agent does it for you and the good news is we have tested or rather data button has tested this endpoint and it tested with uh, apples apples uh, ticker and it could get a successful code that is status code is 200 and symbol open price current price everything that this confirms that our api is successfully fetched in real time now if you also see the console log this is the console log here you see it made a call made a post request and within 0 0.18 second it got the result out of it that's super cool, right? So would you like to make any changes to this endpoint, test it with a different stock symbol or move on to integrating this API with frontend? Let's integrate this API with the frontend. So I just click the quick uh, suggestion of the prompt and now data button is doing everything under the hood. I have hardly written even a prompt. I just click, click the quick symbol suggestion or the quick prompt suggestion and that's how we are now. So we built, first we started with the React frontend. We built the backend, we tested it and now we're integrating this particular backend with the frontend. This entire workflow is done just within this workspace. So now it says that uh, the homepage has been successfully updated with our new stock data API. Here's a summary of the change. So let's go to the homepage here. So if I now, let's say APL, um, I think it would be nice if we have some quick solution as well. Uh, so we have all this stuff. Uh, can you provide a three uh, tickers because uh, I don't uh, remember all of them so I just asked for a drop down with that I think that would be much better because uh, it's 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 uh, it's not possible at least I don't remember all of them so it's better if it has a drop down and then we just select them and then we search for it because basically whenever we're clicking this search button that's very important whenever we're clicking this search button it's triggering this backend and how data button is doing that's also very important to understand because how this under the hood how this agent does it here there is an internal module which data button has it is called as brain this brain module is calling or it's triggering this fast api router out here get stock data and if you closely see over this tooltip that's the name of our api it's just triggering which you just created the backend it's triggering with the symbol and now if I go back, hide the code and we also have the popular ones and we go with, let's say MSFT, it automatically comes up there. I haven't touched a single line of code and I hit the search button, MSFT two days, like, you know, I think it's the latest trading day. It's 24, 830 and we have it. We can check for Tesla as well and we search it with a nice card. It has it. If I can also do this dark light transition, doesn't look that good but i think it's pretty good we can just also iterate on this front end but this time i'm more concerned with the back end i really want to give much more detail about the back end and you can see the change as well it looks pretty cool by the way very less amount of work we did as you can see with the front end so next part is how about we create a new back end where we implement ai analysis Basically, this particular feature. I need to find this AI analysis function in the home page to provide user. Yeah, I just wrote my own prompt. Let's try without my own prompt as well. And I hit this. And now data button will create, probably will create a new backend. So it says that we created AI stock analysis. Let's implement the endpoint to perform AI analysis on stock data. We'll use OpenAI GPT model for the purpose. Here we will do input and say libraries like OpenAI. Set the OpenAI client with the API key, create an endpoint that takes such stock data and the user query as input. Use the OpenAI API to generate an analysis based on stock data, return AI generated analysis. 
super cool. So let me provide data button with the OpenAI API key. I'll do that meanwhile. I paste my OpenAI API key. You will see it will store it here. It stores here and it says that it has saved it. Excellent. Now that we have stored the OpenAI API key, let's implement the AI analysis endpoint. So it's writing new code out here in this AI stock analysis, the new endpoint. So basically we will try to analyze the particular stock data or the popular stock, how this endpoint has been created. So it has used uh, OpenAI and here it has imported the OpenAI API key. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's still, by the way, working on this uh, endpoint. It's still editing the code. Probably it has found some error. It's doing it itself. Uh, it has created with GPT-4. I would rather also use GPT-4.0. It has written a nice system prompt, by the way, financial analysis expert analyze the given stock data and user query. It understood everything based on uh, the code it already has. It has, it passes the stock data and also the user query. And then it gives returns, uh, returns the content out of it after analyzing it. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see, it has used the very recent chat.completion.create SDK from OpenAI API. That's pretty good. And now, it will integrate that. Thank you for pointing out the missing input. So I think it's it has a lot of other tools. So it's trying to figure it out. What are the errors? Probably in the front end, it can be. All of this you can see here. And it now says that great. We've successfully updated the home page. So it has also added in the home page. So in the home page, first we see brain dot get stock data, which is basically to get from the Alpha Vantage API key. And AI stock analysis, here it passes all of them along with the query. Okay, it's time to test. So we now have almost 280 line, 281 lines of code. Pretty cool, right? So let's do that. So let's try with, uh, let's say NVIDIA. The stocks are going pretty high. Yeah, with stock India. Uh, let's see, uh, what would you recommend about this? Shall I buy? And I hit the analyze button. If you don't look here, first it triggered the get stock data. I'm pretty sure now it will also trigger the another endpoint, uh, which should uh, trigger the OpenAI GPT to analyze and give feedback back to us. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. It says AI analysis. As a financial analyze, uh, analyst expert, I can provide you the simple buyer seller recommendation based on the snapshot data provided. This is because investigation should be blah, blah, blah. However, I can tell you NVIDIA is leading player in the technology sector. And then it tells us everything out here. Super cool, isn't it? This is how it works. I will test with another one and then we'll deploy here right away. So I'll just test, let's say, with uh, Amazon. And and uh, let me first click the search button, Amazon. And how do we compare the recent trends? I hit the, recent, uh, the, the AI analysis button. And now it's making a couple of changes to our backend and trying to understand. With additional historical, uh, historical stock data, it's difficult to provide any meaningful analysis of the trends. The data provides only shows the price, volume, and date for one day or uh, to Amazon. So basically, now it's saying that it just provides a very small amount of information. We can also get a lot of historical data and make it way more better. I'm not doing this in this video, but you see already what we have achieved within 15 minutes. Let's say this entire thing we have achieved. Now, I would rather click the deploy button like this i started the deployment and i have given ai stock analyst as the name we can put into our own domain as well data button provides that and if we want to make any change over the time i mean we can always do that for sure we can also change the backend this entire backend is now not having the historical data which is having very small amount of data but if we had passed the historical data as well it would have given us a complete suggestion a complete analysis of our stock price or the company or the search we make for the stock search that also it can do so within very short amount of time we could literally build this entire web app and deploy it and soon we can also share it with our friends or with everyone let's copy this url here and then now if i open a new one uh, i'm pretty sure it's not deployed yet so i would really wait a bit before it gets deployed you can also see it here deploy it the app so i go here and here you go and let's say i try with uh, i don't know tesla 
and first I, I just go to dark mode yes perfect because we didn't fix the light dark mode and then we hit the search button and we have Tesla's uh, details the stock dashboard to this can you quickly summarize the changes and I hit the analyze button so now in while it's pressing the analyze button it's calling our analysis to GPT-40 and it gives us based on the provided data on the date August 30, 2024 Tesla stock price was at 214.11 and with a trading volume of 63,000 uh, or 630,000 shares since this is the only data point provided so we are passing very small amount of data maybe we can just pass more amount of data and we would definitely get way better analysis by the AI so that's all for today and I showed you how easily we build this entire stuff without writing a single line of code in this entire 282 lines of front end and the back end we didn't write a single line we tested all these endpoints plus we integrated to the front end and everything was done by the data button agent to build this entire full stack app I hope you guys like it let me know what you guys want me to build next I would love to make this kind of videos where we build everything from scratch would love to hear your thoughts please write down in the comment section I'm more than happy to reply them and would love to hear the feedbacks as well cheers